start by booting the machine. So Can is actually, Can Liu, who's the product manager on Chrome OS, is actually going to press the button and uh, do a cold reboot. Let's go. So we really care about how fast we can uh, get the machine to boot. We want this to be in a matter of seconds. And as you can see, we are in the login screen, right? It takes about seven seconds right now, and we are working very, very, very hard to make this time shorter. In all tabs, we call these application tabs. So you can take any of your favorite applications. In my case, it's Gmail and Calendar, etc. But it could be Facebook, it could be Yahoo Mail, whatever users want. You can take any application and with one click pin it to be a favorite application. And once you do that, we call these application tabs. We are working very hard to make it possible for you to get to your favorite applications instantly. We have something what we call as the app menu. So caveat, the UI here is going to change. But the concept is we really want you to be able to discover new applications as well as access your top applications. The great thing about netbooks is these are ultralight, thin mobile devices. And once battery times get much better, you can carry them around with you as general purpose devices. So we actually expect these to be great entertainment devices. People should be able to watch videos, play music, play games, books, etc. So let's see how the experience looks like. So I'm an avid chess player, so I have this chess game which I use uh, on my Chrome OS machine. And you can now, it's just a flash, and take over the screen. So these are good examples of what we expect people to do with these machines. In fact, uh, another good example of what you can do is read books. So for example, we are working hard on this experience and we have ways to go. But if you look at Google Books, for example, here is Alice in Wonderland. So you can have it on your netbook in a full screen mode and, and you can read conveniently. It's, you know, these are scanned books which are available. And I can totally imagine reading it to my daughter uh, you know, carrying a netbook around with me. So it's very, very compelling. People plug in their cameras, right? They may plug in a USB drive. And so what happens if you plug in a USB drive? You can imagine, this is a rough concept, but you can imagine Chrome opens a tab and shows you what's in the content of a camera or a USB drive. And you can see the files that are on the machine. It turns out in this USB drive there are Excel files. We don't have Microsoft Excel on this machine. So what happens if you click Excel file? Let's give it a shot. It turns out Microsoft Office launched a killer app for Chrome OS. They've been working very, very hard to do this. The point here is, and let's see what happens if you plug this in your Chrome OS machine. So you can see Chrome OS detects that the camera is a storage device, now the phone is a storage device. It can pull the picture right there. So he's clicking on the picture, and here you go. I can see Arrington squarely in the center of the picture. So it turns out uh, there is a video on the uh, phone as well. So let's try and see what happens if you click the video. The video plays right in place in the panel we talked about. So the point here is, we really want it to be possible for all these seamless use cases, to, I mean, for all these use cases for users to be seamless. We just want computers to be delightful and work.